Hello everybody, I'm Ursula, welcome to my channel and today we are kicking off a series called Zoom 101 and we're gonna focus with the basic of how to look your best on Zoom. I want you to glow, I want you to feel confident when you click that camera on for Zoom and currently I am on a mission to make you speak up, find your voice, speak with confidence so that you can come across as your most empowered self. If you've been hanging out on this channel for a while, you will notice that we are in a different location. Now, this is my little study office area where I spend majority of my time on Zoom calls, uh, Zoom coaching, whether it be webinars, lecturing, hosting something, or joining a webinar. We've been in lockdown for over a year now, and I find it interesting how many people are still struggling with Zoom. Even professionals who are making some rookie errors. And I just want to bust some things. We're dealing with the medium of the camera, and the camera is not the human eye. It interprets and sees differently and I just want you to come across in your most beautiful self but you're gonna have to know a few tips and tricks because otherwise the camera might distort a few things and you don't come across as your most beautiful and powerful self. I'm going to share my laptop screen with you and hop onto Zoom. We'll open up Zoom, there we are. Now the first mistake people make on Zoom is the angle. Angle coming from there. So what happens is your laptop is on a flat surface on the desk and then you are just sitting normally and you're trying to work and see and now we've got this unflattering double chin vibe going uh, and all that headspace I see a lot of that it's not great for the double chin and not great for all that space is wasted and where are the hands there are no hands you can't see half my body so that is a bit of a problem so what you want to do is have your lens at eye just above eye level and then tilt it down a bit okay so instead of having that we want to tilt your computer down a little bit here is something i want you to understand about the camera lens the camera lens enlarges everything that is closest to it so in real life my finger isn't bigger than my face but you know once we have it in the front of the camera you know it starts enlarging magnifying same principle I want you to remember in zoom whatever is closest to the camera is going to be larger when we have that angle I just showed you then our faces are bigger and then we have a more flattering look at the bottom let me show you on zoom so in the principle of being closer my face my eyes will pop when my face is a little bit closer to the camera and then the body is a little bit slimmer so for the angles, if my bottom half of my body is closer to the screen, it has a different distortion or different view than when my face comes closer and then the bottom part of your body is a bit smaller. I want you to go play on Zoom with these ideas. I would highly recommend that you get a laptop stand so that you can have that elevation and that angle coming down at you. Next, we want to lean a bit forward. And the best way to do that is have a pillow behind you so that you can be closer and not disappear back there, but just be a little bit more here. Now, in with regards to framing, you don't have to have it perfect. It's Zoom, it's still human, and you want to come across as being human. But I would say in your frame, try and have about two, three fingers uh, between your the top of your head and the top of the frame um, so that you can get your body in and these beautiful hands 
want to see your body language. Now here is another tip for when you just want to look a little bit better and that is the Zoom beauty filter. Did you know Zoom had a beauty filter? Let me show you. So um, here next to the video button you go to video settings and video touch up my appearance. So now I've untouched up appearance. You'll see this is the untouched up appearance and now touched up. Untouched, touched up. You can also set the level higher. This is a little bit more of a blurry, bloomy view and I feel it's a, just too hazy and makes the connection online not so great. We want people to still connect with you. So I don't put it too high. Just a little bit on the lower side. You can also press adjust for low light and that just pops it out. It depends on what your lighting situation is. Another thing that you can do with your lighting is if you adjust your lighting on your screen. As you can see that also just brightened it up. So darker and then natural built-in light in your computer. Last little zoom tip is your background. This is part of your visual world. It's part of representing a bit of you. So not to have too many distractions would definitely be a big one. And see if you are regularly on Zoom, find designated spots where you can be on Zoom, where your background isn't too distracting, it isn't in a mess, and um, where it's just visually a bit more appealing because we are working with a visual medium. It's all about what the eye can see, even though we're dealing with a, a medium that doesn't see in the way that the naked eye sees. I hope these tips are gonna help you so that you can rock up at your next webinar, Zoom meeting, feeling mm, good. Please tell me in the comments if you found this video helpful and what other Zoom tips you might need I'm here to help you. Sending you lots of love and light. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and tell your friends. Bye.